Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Brocken Roundtable. My name is Shay. My name is Matthias. Today's reaction is the song Die Young by Black Sabbath. This song came out 1980 and it was on the album Heaven and Hell, one masterpiece from Black Sabbath. And this was the first album that Ronnie James Dio was singing on, uh, on a Black Sabbath album. And uh, the version we're going to look at right now is the uh, Vakken 2009 show that Heaven and Hell did. Oh. Yeah. And they had to change to Heaven and Hell from Black Sabbath because for legal reasons that they could not use the name Black Sabbath uh, after Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, oh. Osbourne was, were uh, involved. Interesting. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. So... All right, so technically, even though it's Black Sabbath, it's technically this is heaven, heaven and, and hell. hell. Yeah, but they put and and uh, well to kind of clarify, heaven and hell is Ronnie James Dio, Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, and Vinny Appice, oh. and they were the. Uh, I mean, Tony Iommi, as you know, he uh, is the founder of Black Sabbath with Ozzy and Geezer and Bill okay. Ward. All right. All right, but this is kind of the second rendition of Black Sabbath, and now they are called, well, on this show, they're called Heaven and Hell. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is going to be really exciting. Yeah. And this song, Die Young, like I said, it was not, uh, it was part of the album Heaven and Hell. It was not this uh, super popular single, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, as far as I can remember, but it's one of the best songs on the album, in my opinion. So I'm very excited mm -hmm. to to see this version live by Heaven and Hell from Vakken 2009. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give our reaction, our review, and our rating. Let's roll! This next track, once again, from the album, Heaven and Hell. I have so many good songs on that album, we decided we'd like to do a lot of them for you. Gives me a chance to introduce to you the brilliant Tony Iommi. Talk. And for you, he's going to play... Die Young, this one, Tom.
I've never, I've never heard of that song, and oh, I've yeah, never, yeah. I've never heard that song. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I've heard it obviously many, many times, yeah. and you may wonder why, why do we oh. pick something to react to or review that we have heard before? It, well, for me, it's just because I want to keep this memory of this great song, and obviously, the late Ronnie James Dio, who passed away in May 2010. Yeah. And this was from July 2009, so just 10 months before he passed away. So he, w he was already sick here in stomach cancer. Oh, but I mean, you would never know it. That's how no. incredibly talented he is. Yeah, he, he was one of the absolute best ever, in my opinion. And many of our viewers may have never heard of the song or have seen this song. So yeah. it's for you guys as well. Like, I haven't. I haven't seen this. So. Right. Yeah, most people, uh, you know, from, from this era, they have heard uh, Heaven and Hell, obviously, Mob Rules, maybe Sign of the Southern Cross. Uh, this one was kind of, uh, I mean, it was a single. Uh, they had a video for it, but it was not that, you know. So it was the year of 1980. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first album. I was listening to Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pat Benatar. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was listening to. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because I mean, I remember Black Sabbath. My brother got me into Black Sabbath, and I think I was like five or six, seven years old, yeah, yeah, and he played yeah. the yeah. song Black Sabbath for me. Mm. And it started with this kind of rain and thunder, and I, I was, I was, I remember I was scared, and he locked me in his room. You know, you're gonna listen to this now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he tortured you. <laughs> Yeah, but it was a good torture. It was a good torture. I got <laughs> I got very hooked on that, and um, that was a really good time. And and then I kept listening to Black Sabbath. Uh, well, I still do, and I never stopped. Oh yes, I know you're a huge fan. Yeah. So of of all of that, yeah. I am, and I always will be because, I, and I love the so many people like oh Black Sabbath is only with Ozzy. I liked. I would say every singer that Black Sabbath have had. First, Ozzy, obviously, Ronnie James Dio, Tony Martin, uh, Ian Gillen from The Purple, the famous Ian Gillen sang on one album called Born so, Again. So Black Sabbath, now that I'm realizing this, mm -hmm. is has many eras. Yep. You know, um, because of the different vocalists. That's true. That have uh, fronted the band. Yeah. You know, and all over these decades. It yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like like Deep Purple. They said Deep Purple Mark One, Mark Two, Mark Three, okay. all, the, all the different kind of eras mm. with uh -huh. different vocalists. Uh, and uh, yeah, same thing with Black Sabbath. And um, for for me, I, I loved every single era. Um, even even uh, they had uh, Glenn Hughes as well. But technically, that was Tony Iommi featuring, or sorry, Black Sabbath featuring Tony Iommi. So it was kind of like a solo project to begin with, with Glenn Hughes. But I think for legal reasons or marketing reasons, they named it a Black Sabbath album. Okay. Anyway, interesting. Yeah. So it was called Seventh Star. Mm. So yeah, I, I, I'm pretty familiar with the Black Sabbath uh, yes, <laughs> history. <you are>. So <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So, but anyway... But this was a really, really good song. And I remember, like I said, it was not as popular as Heaven and Hell from this album. Uh, but for me, it was always one of the, the top, top tracks on, on, this, on this LP, this vinyl that came out in 1980. And, and there was a lot of cool things that happened in 1980 because yeah. 1980 was also the, the album Back in Black, with ACDC and the first album with Brian Johnson as a singer after oh, Bon Scott yes. had passed away. That was a good year. A very good <laughs> year. 1980 was a really good year um, music-wise. So, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to give you the chance to give your rating before me. Okay. So what do you think? This was like, this was fascinating and I would like to listen to other versions of this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad this was the live version and the latest version. Yeah. I, I, if you think about it. I, I think, yeah, that's probably, probably, it, I don't know if there are other recordings after this. Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to check that out. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I think I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10 Marshall Stacks. That's a good rating for yeah. the first time hearing this. Yeah. And I know you love Ronnie James Dio oh, he's so incredible. much yeah, when you watch the uh, documentary about him. And and so much respect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for me, it, it's quite easy to give this rating here. Uh, it's a 10 out of 10 Marshall Stacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, you're not surprised. But he deserves it. It deserves it. Yeah, it, it, it does. Heaven and Hell and the legendary Tony Iommi, who has written... I mean, think about how many guitar players who are, um, you know, influenced by Tony Iommi. Oh, and, yeah. and so many bands, uh, the whole music genre, uh, that the way, the way he writes his music, uh, so many bands c come out of his, his um, type of songwriting, if you will. And Geezer Butler, the bass player he has had from, from yeah. day one, he's been back and forth in, into his band, but... You know, he's been a consistent bass player like that. And he actually lives here in Las Vegas. That's what I thought so. Yeah, yeah. so he's here in town, which is cool. I hope we can get to meet him out. You somewhere. know, watching this and seeing all the members, all you know, all the musicians, and they're all icons Yeah. to this day, you know. So it's just 
They are. It's remarkable. Yeah. And rem- and even more remarkable to have this footage that we could yeah. see and enjoy for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so, so happy about that. Yeah. And, and the last thing I want to mention as well is don't forget about Vinny Apice, the drummer here. And he mm-hmm. was also part of uh, first th- this uh, th- this time of Black Sabbath, uh, Heaven and Hell. But he was also the drummer for Dio. So if you know the band Dio and the album Holy Diver, that was Vinny Apice who played on, on that. And obviously multiple ones after that as well. And now he has this band called Last in Line, which was... Um, Originally was Vivian Campbell, mm. the original guitar player for Dio, uh, Vinnie Apice, like I mentioned, uh, and Jimmy Bain, who's the bass player for Dio. Okay. And uh, Andrew Andrew Freeman, uh, who's the vocalist, who also lives here in town. <laughs> and um, then Jimmy Bain, he passed away, and now they have Phil Susan playing bass for Last in Line. Lots of history lessons here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I hope I'm not boring everyone, no. but I, I, this is, uh, I'm very passionate very cool. about these bands uh, and these the members of, of these bands because, I mean, I've been idolizing them for so many, many years. So if you are a fan of Dio, Black Sabbath, whatever, or of this song, just comment below and, and, and tell us a story or how you feel about it. We would like to know. Good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and this wraps up this video. Um, hope you liked it. If you did, please comment below. Uh, like she said, hit like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family and your enemies. Your enemies. <laughs> yeah. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side.